Hey guys, welcome to our blogging income report for September 2021. In this video, I show you how much money we made from blogging in the past month and share all the metrics that go into it. Hey guys, it's Chris, and if you're new here, welcome. On our channel, Blogging Money Life, we teach creators like you how to leave your day job so that you can live life on your own terms. My wife and I just launched a brand new blog in August, and in this monthly series, I break down what's been going on with our blog, as well as give you some tips from what we have learned. In this video, we're going to look at what happened in the last month with our social media, YouTube, email list, blog, and an overview of revenue, expenses, and even more. Let's get into it. Let's start out with social media key performance indicators and we'll get started here with YouTube. Subscribers. We are up 41 subscribers from last month for a total of 303. We received a total of 2,026 views this month. With all those views, we accumulated 133 total watch hours. All that YouTube traffic came from 23,306 impressions. Our click-through rate is 4.3, which means out of all those impressions, we have a 4% chance that someone is going to click our video. When someone's watching our video, they're sticking around for an average of 3 minutes and 56 seconds. All those metrics came from a total of five videos we put out this month and the age of our channel is seven months old. Let's talk about where we are as far as monetizing YouTube. We need a thousand subscribers. We are only at 303. It's taken us seven months to get 300 subscribers. So at this rate, it's going to take about another 14 months to reach our goal of a thousand subscribers unless we start accumulating subscribers faster. Another monetization goal is our watch time hours. We're currently at 554. So as you can see, we got quite a ways to go there. Just under 3,500 more hours before we can monetize. All right, let's head on down to Instagram. Our Instagram growth was at 94 followers brings us to a total of 967 followers. That's a 10.8% growth rate. This month we made a total of 27 posts. Our accounts reached is at 1,800, almost triple the accounts reached in August. Website visits. We drove 60 visits to our blog from Instagram. Content interactions is at 914. On average, we're reaching 124 people per post. We did a few IG stories this month, which reached 131 people. Our total impressions are at 5,602, which is also up from last month. 81 people viewed our link in bio. 15 people clicked a button. In September, that button took people to our YouTube channel, but now it's sending them directly to our website. Post clicks, 45. So that means when someone clicks one of our posts in our link in bio, that sends them to our website. Click through rate, if you're on our link in bio, is 52%, so roughly about half the people that get there end up clicking on something, which um, our goal is to drive traffic to our website. Facebook. Uh, we don't really push hard on Facebook at all, but still our followers have gone up a little bit. Page likes have gone up a little bit. We posted 20 times to our account, had 150 engagements to those posts. Video views. So we ran a campaign in, in September promoting the Genius Bloggers Toolkit, and we made a video just for Facebook. And that video we made for Facebook got 115 views. We still haven't done much on Pinterest. Jazz is working on building our board, but she put 10 pins up this month, and those generated 24 impressions. Let's check out our email performance indicators. So in September, we promoted the Genius Bloggers Toolkit, we actually had one of our products within that toolkit. Blogging Money Life owns that product. So when someone buys a toolkit and downloads our product that we have within the toolkit, they in turn subscribe to our email list. 
and that is why you see a large jump in our email list this month. We sent a total of 663 emails this month. Our average open rate is 37%, which is pretty good. 246 emails that were open. Total number of clicks within the emails that were open were nine. And all the specific email campaigns are running. 110 subscribers came from the sponsored post pricing toolkit subscription, which is that product we have within Ultimate Bundles or Genius Bloggers Toolkit. And another four subscribers came from a list of 150 sponsored post opportunities that we give away for free on our website. Moving on to our website's key performance indicators. In September, we published 20 articles. We schedule new articles to go up every Monday and Thursday. Our blog is now two months old. SEMrush shows us to be ranking for 34 keywords. Two of those keywords are on the first page of Google. Our highest ranking keyword is number four. Organic traffic shows 24 sessions. Our domain authority is three out of 100. Our Alexa score is about 93,000. So our domain authority and our Alexa score, those are actually pretty good scores considering we've only been up for a month and 18 days. Google Search Console shows that we got 13,916 impressions. Total clicks, 97. Total page views, 2,639. 937 users, 1,181 sessions. Average session duration is 45 seconds. Our bounce rate is 5%. Our direct traffic, is at 773 and the explanation for why we got so much direct traffic if you look at our google analytics two separate days last month we had a spike of traffic out of nowhere 350 direct visitors a day only thing i can think of is that it was a hack attempt to try to overload us with traffic and bring it down and that way a hacker could get in easier if the website was down, but it didn't work. Because of those two hack attempts, that actually brought our session duration down uh, because each of those hack attempts, on average, they were there for 13 seconds. Now our organic traffic, the people who find us through Google, is at 94 sessions and those people stay on our website for about two minutes and 40 seconds. So they're, they're sticking around, they're reading an article, they're jumping around pages. That's the type of traffic you wanna see is organic. Uh, from our emails we sent out, we got one visitor. Referral traffic's at 14, so that's other websites recommending us. Uh, most likely Miss Millennia Magazine. Our social media generated 53 visitors, um, probably people clicking on our articles that we posted on social media. Somehow we got a visitor from Pinterest and 43 visitors from Facebook. Uh, Instagram sent us eight visitors and YouTube sent us nine. All right, so on to the important stuff. How do those numbers translate to money? Well, as you can see, we still don't have a lot of traffic coming to our website, but we're only one month and 18 days old. So what we have is, is pretty good at promising. Um, we're already ranking on Google for a number of keywords and a few of those keywords are on page one. So if we just keep up what we're doing, we're gonna see more of that and we'll get more organic traffic, which will help us bring in income. So let's start out with affiliate networks. I mentioned a couple other times we worked with Ultimate Bundles to advertise the Genius Bloggers Toolkit. We were helping generate leads. Anyone who bought, we earned a commission off of that. So the commission we earned was $646 advertising networks we're still only working with google adsense they earned us 26 cents this month as we generate more organic traffic to our website we'll be able to graduate to higher profitable advertising networks sponsored post networks we're not concentrating on sponsored posts right now but that's something we will be working on in the future again we don't have any partnerships with anyone but we will be working on that 
Moving on to our product sales. Our focus this month was mainly on the Genius Bloggers Toolkit campaign, and we didn't launch or promote any of our own products. But we did have a new subscriber to the Blogging Money Update, $29.99. The two subscribers from last month are still there. They are coming in at $59.98. Last month we did sell one of our courses. The person who purchased the course decided to go with the four month payment plan. So they are on the second month of a $99 payment. That brings our total product sales this month to $188.97. September expenses. We'll start out with the reoccurring expenses. Morning Fame, it's a YouTube analytics tool we use. That's about $10 a month. Epidemic Sound is a tool we use for YouTube. It gives us royalty free music that we use on our videos. That's about $15 a month. Later is our Instagram management tool. We use that to schedule our Instagram posts. That's about $21 a month. SiteGround is our hosting provider. They're costing us about $5 a month. Canva is a graphic design tool that we pay $10 a month for. Meller Lite is our email management tool. We use a free version. Grammarly is our content editing tool that we use for spelling and grammar. That costs us $12 a month. So our total reoccurring expenses this month is at $72.71. Single time expenses. We paid $18 to SiteGround this month for the purchase of a domain name. The domain we purchased was bloggingincomereport.com and we bought that with the thought of it helping drive more traffic to our blogging income report section of our blog. We ran a Facebook ad that cost $50 to promote the Genius Bloggers Toolkit. Our total one time expenses this month is at $67.99. Personnel expenses. We pay a transcriber about $10 an hour to watch our YouTube videos and transcribe the content so that we can upload captions to the video. We also take that transcription and turn it into a blog post. That's it for personnel expenses this month. And it all boils down to our profit and loss summary. Our total gross income this month is $835.33. That income came from our affiliates and some product sales. Our monthly total expenses, $185.70. Those expenses were reoccurring expenses that are going to show up every month and a few one-time expenses as well as personnel expenses. Our total gross income minus expenses is at $649.63. We're estimating that our taxes will be about $142.92, which leaves us with our month net income of $506.71. Not a bad net for our second month of blogging. If you like the monetization tracker that we use, we actually give it away for free. Just head over to bloggingmoneylife.com, click the resources tab, and you can download it from there. I'll link to the website in the description. Hopefully you got something out of this video, and if that was the case, let us know by hitting the like button. If you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comment section, and I'll make sure we get them answered. Don't forget to subscribe. We put out a new video every Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.